TikTok is in trouble again with government agencies saying they promote pornography and other illicit content. The Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology in India has asked Apple and Android to remove TikTok from the App Store, saying that it contains too much pornography and illicit content. This isn't the first time TikTok has come under fire. Other agencies like the American Federal Trade Commission have come against TikTok for content as well as what they do with the data of the kids who are under 13 that use their app. They've been in trouble for other things too like lack of parental controls and lack of age verification. TikTok is popular mostly with girls under the age of 20, but it's also wildly popular with kids under 13. Now, this isn't going to be measured in most stats and data because those are based on the company's information, which can only use the information given to them when someone registers for TikTok. Now, if the app says you must be 13 years old to use it, then you're going to say you're at least that age or higher when you make an account. Therefore, their data is going to be a little misconstrued. Ask any group of elementary age or junior high aged kids, and they're gonna know several people who use TikTok. TikTok is an app that features short form videos made by the users of the app. A lot of them are lip syncing or other silly stuff that kids do or people do. You can also though live stream your life on TikTok. But I think this issue with TikTok is a perfect example of user generated content getting out of hand for the company who controls it. They struggle to keep up with the content that's being posted that might be inappropriate. And because of that, they're having to play catch up. The problem is while they're trying to play catch up, it's our kids who are seeing these inappropriate videos that haven't been removed yet and making contact with strangers that we don't want them to contact before their accounts get removed. Growth is ultimately the goal. Growth means money. These companies need more users in order to grow. They have to have more content in order to get more users. Is it possible that they're intentionally removing as little content as possible because it's easier to ignore the illicit content and pay the bills than it is to protect your users and affect the bottom line? TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, WhatsApp, any of these don't exist to protect your kids or keep them safe. These companies exist to make money and they're going to do whatever they can to grow. The only time you see these companies stepping up and making a change in the content they allow is when there's been some sort of major hoop to do about the content in their product. That's why it falls to us moms and dads, aunts and uncles, grandmas, grandpas, big brothers, big sisters. We have to step in and say, hey, you can't use this app until you're the right age. Or you know what? You can use this app, but I'm gonna follow you. I'm gonna see everything you're posting. I'm gonna make sure that your messages and stuff are safe. Or I'm gonna go in and set the privacy settings to where you can't be accessed by people who you don't already know in real life. These things are often possible in these apps, but we have to know how and we have to take the effort and make the effort to make it happen for them. Too often, parents don't do that. They sit back and just hope everything's going to be okay. I'm sorry, that's not gonna cut it. Your kids are your responsibility and their safety is your responsibility. Should these companies be held accountable for the junk that shows up on their apps? Absolutely. But should we be shocked when they choose the money over our children's safety? Absolutely not. Of course they're going to choose the money. That's why they started the company in the first place. Thank you for watching. I'm Michael Prince with becausefamily.org and familytechblog.com. I thank you for listening as well. If you enjoy this podcast, please subscribe on iTunes, favorite us on Stitcher, follow us on Spotify, whatever it is that you use to listen, and leave us a review on one of those as well. We would really appreciate it. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. You can support us at patreon.com slash becausefamily and learn about other ways to partner with our organization at becausefamily.org slash partnership. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.